Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to welcome our staff to this afternoon's board meeting. And I'm going to get started. That's okay with the rest of the board. Yes. yes. It is now 6 p.m. I call this meeting of the Lutheran Independent School District to order that the record show that a quorum of board members are present, that this meeting has been duly called, and that, no, and that notice of this meeting has been posted in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act, Texas Government Code Chapter 551. Please stand. Phil, bow your heads for prayer, please. Loving Heavenly Father, you are a gracious God, and we pause before the start of this school board meeting to lift up our hearts to you in prayer and thanksgiving for all the many mercies to us throughout the past months and years. You are always with us. And to seek your face as we prepare to make plans for the future of our school. We lift each member of staff to you, each child as well, and every member of the board, and ask it for your continued blessings over each and every life, and that they would seek your wisdom and guidance, courage and strength, and all issues and areas that touch their lives. Keep us ever humble before your throne and give us the integrity to stand up for what we believe. Lord, I have a special request this evening to please uh, let us keep in prayer our former superintendent, Butch Winky. So into your hands we place this meeting, trusting you to lead and guide our meeting tonight and protect our school in the future. To praise and glory, we pray this in Jesus' name, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and its Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes of August 12, 2024? I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes of August 12, 2024. I have a motion by Mrs. Johnson. Do I have a second? I have a second by Mrs. Martinez. All those in favor, raise your hand or say aye. Aye. Same side opposed. Motion carries for four zero. Anyone for public comments? No, ma'am. Thank you so much. The first information item is Superintendent Performance Goal 1, Activity 1, Reading and Math Start. Thank you, Board President, Board Members. Um, the first superintendent performance goal we have tonight is Goal 1, Activity 1. And Goal 1, Activity 1 states the superintendent will ensure resources are allotted and strategies implemented in order to increase the percent of students attaining approaches, meets, and masters in reading and math. So specifically in the areas of reading math. So what you have, the chart that you have in front of you is you have um, even though we're comparing 23 and 24, I did want to bring in 22 as well so that you can see what our scores look like for the past three years. And so the goal was to have at least 50% of, of, of our scores in each area um, increase. And so we had a total in reading and math of 45 scores um, from third grade all the way up through English 1, English 2, and Algebra 1. And out of the 45 scores, we had 24 scores that increased, 17 that decreased, and four remained the same, so which is a 53%. And so you can go down the line, for example, third grade math, we had 75% approaches compared to 81 um, last year. And then you can look at um, third grade reading language arts, 78, 81 last year. So this is no different than the scores that we have presented to you in the past. What we're looking at here again, and it's the goal of the principals, is to each year have more students attain the approaches, have more students get the meets, which is on grade level, and more students get to the masters. And so um, that's for our reading and math. So technically you've met the goal for this school. Well, the, the goal of proficient, right. because we talked about it would be proficient mm -hmm. if we were at 50%. So okay. we did get the proficient. Are we where we want to be? To be no. exceeds absolutely not. So that would be at 
having 75% mm -hmm. of our, our scores go up. Um, so we're, we're meeting, we, we are having our first day to meeting at the end of the first six weeks. I'll be going out to the campuses and we'll continue to work on increasing that percentage. If you look at the second slide, um, this is academic growth. And so while the, the goal itself doesn't say an overall growth, it talks about specifically um, the three levels. I did want to share with you the district and academic growth went from 67 to 73. So we did have a higher percentage of students with academic growth. High school remained the same at 70%. Green went from 69 to 70. Remember that academic growth is only reading and math. We right. don't, we cannot, um, we cannot um, science measure and science and social studies. Correct. Correct. Okay. If you look at Sam Houston, went from 66 to 79, up 13 percentage points. So um, they had a big jump. Vail from 70 to 92, 22% overall growth. Dominguez, 56 to 75, huge jump. Dominguez had science that they struggled with, but their, their meeting, their reading and their math, they saw significant growth. And then Sanchez from a 73 to an 81. So almost all of our campuses saw growth overall. And so, um, and if you look at our students growing at the 50%, yes, you know, most of them, we have 70 to 73% to 92% showing that growth. But this particular goal talked about getting, increasing the approaches, needs, and masters. Right. Right. And so, but I did want to share with you that we had growth overall. Any questions? Uh, I just want to make it, uh, or just correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the STAR 2.0, uh, it was, the, this was, it was the first yes. year that the test was different, so as We're I recall. We're not comparing apples to apples. Right, but um, they had omitted the multiple choice, right? No, um, no, they, they no what they added is there's writing now. It used to be writing only at certain grade levels. Now there's writing and short answers across the grade level. Okay. And then in math, um, and, and help me here, the Mr. Cortez. Excuse me? There was, there was a gridable for math. Mm -hmm. uh, you might be referring to the different types of questions now. Because I know, I know the content was going to be different, but uh, as I... At a conference, I, I believe they mentioned that there was no longer going to be multiple choice, that they had to kind of solve. Mm -hmm. you know, it's the, a combination, the, it's is a that correct? Okay. It's, it's a, a multiple choice, but then also they have gridable. So it's a very different type. And, that, and that's what I was, I was you know, mm -hmm. that's what I was leading to, you know, to, to get this growth with a new test, yes. with new, you know. No, uh, yes. Yes. We're very so pleased with the growth overall, mm -hmm. with a brand new test, with writing. We just, um, had some PD that that Ms. Vinto and, and um, Mr. Flores talked to us about for writing. And and you know that's why the state right now has not not submitted the A through F because AI is, is grading the writing now. And if if AI doesn't see certain words, then it goes to a person. And we had that discussion overall about what we need to do to increase the writing. But yes, yeah, so it was different type of items, mm -hmm. different type of test, and to see, for example, the growth from 70 to 92 or 56 to 75, mm -hmm. even with the different items, um, yeah. we're still going. I think our staff, right our staff, our staff did a great job. Mm -hmm. Good job, everybody. <laughs> I, I, I have a question though. Mm -hmm. um, I shouldn't say so, no. That doesn't sound very good, right? I just have a question. I know, I know, we're comparing. We're not comparing apples right. to apples. And, and we understood that all last year, but for next year we will compare apples mm -hmm. to apples, correct? Yes, uh, yes. Across yes. all tests. Maybe I guess this is leading to my next question. I know some levels yes. we went down like 10 points or more. I think there were like three areas. So is it because not understanding the peaks or is there a reason? I, like I said, I know it's apples, not apples to apples, but still, because other areas we didn't go down that much. Right, now as far as for next year, the comparing the apples, do you want me to go to that? Yes. As far as comparing apples to apples, the, the subject that we'll probably have to be looking at carefully would be science. Okay. Science is having new teaks. Uh, just to put it in perspective, uh, this year's third graders will be the very first group 
this year's third graders will be the very first group when they get to fifth grade that they will then test all the new science keys. So slowly they're going to be implemented uh, okay. to be fair to the students and of course to be fair to the teachers. Okay. So that would probably be the only test that we need to look at carefully every year. Okay. Uh, and then we are going to have to then create those tests because the state is not going to have anything for you lease because, for example, uh, this year's fifth grade test will have the fifth grade teeth only. And, and what we did find, remember when we showed you the comparison with, with the region and the state? Right. So where we made dips of 10 points or 5 points, right. we found that we saw similarities with the region and the state. Okay. And I know... Um, See, that was my question. So we had the side-by-side, -side, and I'll send that in the Friday, the weekly update, okay. just to show you all again. When we went down, we noticed that the state went also down. Went English down. 1 is an area that Mr. Flores, that y'all were just at the ILM meeting at Region, and they said across the state that we, that English 1 went down. And that's an area we went down. Another area was fifth grade as well. Fifth grade. Fifth grade, fifth grade and, and English, English 2, we actually one. went up. In reading language arts, yes. uh, region wide, state wide. And the threat language. Yes. Okay. Fifth grade and English one were the, the ones that were affected the most with the automated scoring system that they implemented. Fifth grade what? Fifth grade reading language arts. Really? When, when we look at fifth, uh, what I'm saying is as a whole, uh, statewide and region wide, we I see. our fifth points, graders but... and our English one were affected the most. Okay, my notes are open, so. <laughs> That's okay. No, and your That's English one, question, I had sent you some and I actually sent you. I didn't know that one might not. But you answered my question, sir. You know, because you did mention when we noticed a dip, like 10 points or more, there was a dip across the board. It was statewide. Okay. Let me answer my question. Okay, thank you. Are we done with the first goals? Yes. Okay. The next item is super, thank you, sir. The next item is superintendent's performance goal one, activity two, science and social studies star. So science and social studies is an area that we have been working on. It's an area that, that we feel that um, we have struggled with a bit. If you look at, at, at our scores in science and social studies, we test science in fifth, eighth grade, and high school. Mm -hmm. And so we have a total, and then social studies in eighth grade and high school. So we have a total of four, 15 scores when you look at approaches, meets, and masters, because we have a total of five tests. And so out of those five tests, we had seven that showed increase. Um, eighth grade across the board in science had increases last year. Not to where we want to be, mm -hmm. but they did have increases in the three areas. Fifth grade, we had um, increases in, in masters. Not in approaches and meets, but in masters. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And then, yes, and then if you look at high school, even though in U.S. history we're at 97 percent, but the year before we were at 99, yeah. so that's a decrease. But it's a decrease when you are at 97 mm percent, -hmm. and a decrease when you're still at for meets 59 percent, but the year before it was 65. And so, um, but nevertheless, you know, the goal is the goal, and it says to increase. And so, when you get to 99, it's kind of hard to to have mm -hmm. those increases. So here. We had 47% um, nice. increase. It increase last year. Yes. Okay. Any questions of Mr. Thank you, Ms. Coburn. And now the next topic <coughs> is Superintendent Performance Goal 4, Activity 1, <coughs> and Conflict Resolution. So I want to thank the principals at the campus <coughs> and your staff. One of the things we really tried to do the first three weeks, um, and I gave you um, a <coughs> list of every single campus. Every principal sent me what they were doing. I cut and pasted and put it on that sheet for you. And so you have a detailed list of what every campus is doing. And this is just kind of a summary of some of the things that we are doing. But one of the things that we wanted to do is make sure that our parents and our students understand the difference with somebody bullying them, being mean to them, being rude to them. And then what do we do instead of bullying somebody when we have a problem with somebody? What's a better way? And we talked about conflict resolution. What's a better way to communicate rather than being like that? And so we've had counselor meetings with groups and our health classes at the, at the junior high and high school. We have had some um, de-escalating strategies with them. Our athletic um, coaches have had conversations about bullying 
at junior high, he was starting a kindness squad, ordered these bright yellow shirts, I think, and they're going to start this new initiative there. We've had PE presentations all the way down, um, all the way across the district, posters around campus. We've started restorative practices and circles, and so they're having discussions with students, talking to other students about behavior, and then just our administrators talking. And so, um, and again, what I emailed to you, and, and you have a copy as well, it, it gives a little bit more information. Mm -hmm. We felt it was important, we felt it was important at the campuses to at the very beginning target that. And just because we did it at the beginning doesn't mean it's not something that we're gonna have ongoing, but um, we just wanted to get ahead of it a little bit this year. Good job. Any questions or participants? <clears throat> Thank you, Sam. The next item is item B, Collaborative Autism Grant 24 through 26, Innovative Services for Students with Autism. Good evening, Roberta Florida. Uh, we're just bringing some information uh, to you guys regarding our collaborative efforts with college and GASD within our district uh, for the application process through the autism grant. Uh, a couple years ago, both Harlingen applied for it in independently, and we applied for it, and we both didn't get it. And when we read a little bit more of it, it says you get a better chance of getting these uh, this grant if you do it in a collaborative effort with another district. So last year, when we came together to put together this grant, and we got approved. Uh, with uh, for the autism grant, and this is from 20, 2024 to 2026. There's three major components to, to the grant. Of course, it's to bring awareness to our community, supports for our parents, um, you know, additional training opportunities for our staff, you know, um, giving, just giving them as much information as we can. Um, some of the other components are um, actual educational uh, hubs that we can bring to the district. We got approved for five total hubs. Three will be housed in Harlingen and two will be housed in, in our district. Um, one of ours will be a social emotional behavioral hub for our students and the other one will be an upgraded sensory uh, hub. Uh, fortunately, we have sensory rooms across the district. Harlingen is still struggling with that, so that's where they're gonna focus their, their hubs in. Uh, but our needs were slightly different than theirs. But uh, with, this, with these hubs, we're hoping to appoint uh, one of our, our teachers as the coordinator for the hub, getting together with other teachers, the students in the campus, and seeing what the needs are specifically for, for that student population on their campus, and they can work together to create these hubs. Um, the, the, the goal is that the educational hub is up and running by spring of 2025. So as soon as we get done here, then we can go ahead and start moving on to getting um, uh, these classrooms set up. Um, uh, on top of the hubs, like I said, it's additional support for our community, for our parents. So we will collaborate with Harlingen for di with different current school groups, uh, sessions, PDs, uh, for, for community and provide child care and transportation as needed uh, on both ends. Um, for our educators, we will have a training hub, which will be housed in Harlingen, but we will have access to it and we'll have time slots of when we can take our staff, when time's appropriate to participate in the professional development with Harlingen or if it's not convenient, when it's convenient for us. So we're excited to be able to bring this you know, to the district. Uh, the grant writer who actually helped us, she was a, a graduate of La Feria, so she was very excited to be able to, to help you know, her current employment district, but then also mm -hmm. the district that she came to school in. Um, so, um, that, that's we just wanted to bring that to you guys and these educational homes will be a little bit more upscale than what we're accustomed to for our sensory rooms because with our sensory rooms we kind of you know pick our brains with others and we scale it to our needs but we will have a twenty thousand dollar budget for each room so a total of forty thousand to put these hubs and the teachers that do coordinate this will get compensated for the extra time that they put in uh, for for this based on our um, extra time pay rate Questions? Oh, that's very exciting. Good job. Thank you. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and it, that's for the elementary. Is there anything? Yeah, the so it's going to be based on what our needs are. For sure, we're going to do one at our elementary and we're going to focus one at our secondary level. Depending on the space and what we're thinking, we'll, that will dictate whether it's at Green or at the high school. Uh, but, you know, starting tomorrow, we can start collaborating with our teachers and see where is the need the most for our secondary level. So we'll have one for, for each. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr.
There are six items in the consent agenda, the monthly tax report, unemployment compensation insurance for the 24-25 school year, approved members to the Lafayette ISD School Health Advisory Council SHAC for 24-25, master interlocal agreement between Lafayette ISD and Region 1 Education Center, an amendment to performance appraisal evaluation for teachers, and discussion and approval to amend property casualty, casualty insurance contract. Do you have a motion to approve the uh, items listed on the agenda? I have a motion by Mrs. Montalvo. Do I have a second? second? And a second by Mrs. Martinez. It's been moved and seconded to approve the items listed on the consent agenda. All those in favor, raise your hand or say aye. 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 All those opposed, say aye. Motion carried. Four zero. Uh, first item under items to consider and possible action <coughs> is a discussion and consideration to adopt the 24-25 tax rate resolution. Thank you, Mrs. Castillo and board members. We bring forth our recommendation tonight for the 24-25 tax rate. You have a purple folder of information that I wanted to share with you. So the top sheet is our is our proposed tax rate for the 24-25 school year. It's 0.7552 cents for the purpose of maintenance and operation and 0.20083 for our purpose of debt for the school district with the total tax rate of 0 0.95603. If you look at the second sheet, you can see that you have a 12-13 year um, um, history of where we have been with our tax rate. Back in 2012-2013, our total tax rate was at $1.33, mm -hmm. and we are now at $0.95. Cents. So it's the lowest that we've had in, in the last 12 years, and there's a chart quite below it. We also showed, I provided you with a copy that was in Valley Morning Star in June. At that time that we put it in Valley Morning Star, we believed that our, our tax rate would be um, about what it was the year before. But as you can see, this school year, um, our tax rate is that we're proposing is 0 0.95603. This is a reduction of 0 0.002 cents. So um, it's actually what we thought it was gonna be, it's a tad bit lower. Yeah. And so that's always a good thing. So it is our recommendation that we propose <coughs> that we adopt the 24-25 tax rate resolution. Do I have a motion? Yes, Madam President. I move we adopt the 2024-2025 tax rate resolution. And do I have a second? It's been moved and seconded to adopt the 24-25 tax rate resolution. Any further discussion? All those in favor, raise your hand or say aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. Motion carried, 4-0. The next item is discussion and possible action to approve the tax discount resolution for 24-25. Um, thank you, Mrs. Castillo, board members. We bring forth the tax rate resolution tonight. As been as has been in practice at Lafayette ISD for the past years, the board allows taxpayers a discount if they pay their property taxes early. Three percent discount if paid by October thirty first, twenty twenty four. A two percent discount if paid by November thirtieth, twenty twenty four, and a one percent discount if paid by December thirty first, twenty twenty four. So we recommend approval of the tax discount resolution. Do I have a motion? Yes. I have a motion by Mrs. Martinez and a second by- Second. And a second by Mrs. Johnson. It's been moved and seconded to adopt the 24-25 tax rate resolution. Any further discussion? All those in favor, raise your hand or say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion carried for zero. Next item is letter C, discussion and possible action to approve the campus improvement plan for the school year 24-25. Good evening, Board President Castillo, members of the board, and Mrs. Torres. Uh, tonight, we bring uh, before you the goals, the campus goals and the objectives uh, in the uh, individual campus plans. It is our recommendation, or the, the recommendation of administration for approval of the campus improvement plan. So we provided you a pen drive, and I also have hard copies if you all want to look through these. 
Um, but we provided, Mr. Flotis and the principals provided you all the goals and objectives. So as per board policy, what the board approves is the goals and objectives of the campus improvement plans. And so they met, they did a needs assessment, and based upon their needs assessment, each campus principal um, is proposing these goals and objectives, and they review it through the, the throughout the year, yes, right? Mm -hmm. Three times three times a year just to see if they are meeting all of the objectives. Madam President, I move we approve the campus improvement plans for the school year 2024-2025. We have a motion by Mrs. Johnson. Do I have a second? A second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the campus improvement, improvement plan for the school year 24-25. Any further discussion? I do have a few questions, if that's okay. Yes, um, Some were writing their goals based on needs and some were on approaches, correct? Yes, ma'am. So just dependent on the campus. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so if I read correctly, and I didn't mean just to pick on Sanchez, but, but I saw that she said 3%. So she's going to go from whatever the meets was this year, next year, let's say I'm going to say 34 in reading. To 37, mm -hmm. is that correct? The goal would be for 37. Okay, I'm not sure. If that's a made up number, yes. Yeah, there's a made up number. I'm not sure what it was before. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Uh, and I believe for greening, you use a purchaser, correct? I believe. For, for which one? For the increase, for, um, for reading and so forth. All I was going to say, sir, those are pretty, your expectations are pretty high. Well, we're trying to hit because approaches are supposed to be like our ninety percent. Yes, yes, and yes. So we tried to hit that 80, 90 on approaches. Right. And then yeah. Fifty, sixty in our meetings. No, and I studied it because uh, for reading you got an eighty, you know you want to go to an eighty-five. Yeah. So I'm commending you for that. So having those high expectations, you know, so mm -hmm. rather aggressive, rather, you know, and I'm glad you're doing that. I'm glad you're doing that. I I did, and I don't know how to say this tactfully. I did have a concern about science, okay? Because I did notice that his score was a forty-eight. And he put five percentage points. I mean, I'm going to approve, obviously. Is this Dominguez? Dominguez. Okay. Yeah, even with signs which are in the 40s, you know. Yes, sir. I'm not sure about We are doing some different, he is doing some different things. Some okay. of the things that he is doing, one, or the, the very first one is that they are now in uh, teams. Okay. Whereas before, it, every year had changed at Dominguez. Okay. This year, there's three science teachers. Good. Those three science teachers now have confidence period together. Those three teachers are now uh, are going to professional development yeah. at Region One based on their needs. Uh, for okay. example, they they already had one training last year, uh, last week. Sorry, they're having another one this uh, week at Region as well. They're all going together. Okay. One of the things that was happening last year is because one would go because twelve teachers were teaching it. Right. So that, there was that no is consistency. a consistency. So okay. that's a difference. Another difference, or something that's different that he is doing this year as well. Uh, trackers uh, what, and some of the other campuses are doing that as well so what they're doing is they're either giving a weekly test a bi-weekly test or every three weeks and the teachers have to report or give those scores to their administrator okay. uh, for science fam it is every three weeks uh, math and reading is bi-weekly or weekly so that is something that he is doing as well at, uh, at Dominguez to track the science scores so it's not waiting until right before the benchmark, right. or benchmark number one. Right, right. So that is something that is different. That's different also. Mm -hmm. um, the Weekly Tracker, Region 1 PD, uh, they themselves also invested in Summit K-12. Uh, Summit K-12, they had training last week as well, mm -hmm. uh, something that they can use to, to supplement with what they already have. And I'm glad you brought up the staff development, because I did see it in, in the green, uh, what is it called, campus pet. I didn't see the Dominguez. I wondered if there any stock development going on. There but that's is, okay. There, there is. is, and that's where I'm supporting them. So okay. either I will help them pay, or I help, uh, and and you know, we're helping the science and the social studies. That's right. that's the area of need. Uh, we've already spoken to Mr. Boyad as well that if he needed some help or support financially there, uh, that's where I can help him. But yes, ma'am, they are going to PD. Uh, the one that they were attain, uh, going to attend next this week, uh, it, all three are going. Okay. Whereas before it was one, and then they have to bring it back and. 
yes, that's good, and they can share best practice, but when all three are there together to hear it, it is it's, it and is it's hard to share with 12 other people, it it's really is. is. <coughs> but it's best to keep it, you know. So longer. the structure has changed, right. and all three have conference period together, so that allows for better planning. Right. Right. And as you saw our score, we are concerned about right. the, um, you know, the percentage of, of science compared to where we were exactly. in social studies, where we're not making increases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, but I'm glad you brought that up. All those in favor, raise your hand and say aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. The next item is discussion and possible action to amend the order of general election for November 5th of 2024. Uh, this is Castillo board members. The county has added two additional early voting places. These were not included in the election order approved by the board on July 29th, 2024. The county added the City of Permita, City Hall, and the Harlingen Convention Center. Any LaFerria ISD voter can vote at any of the 24 early voting locations. So we recommend approval to amend the November 5th, 2024 general election. Do I have a motion? Yes. Oh. Okay. I have a motion by Mrs. Martinez. Second. 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 It's been moved and seconded to amend the order of general election for number 5th, 2024. Any further discussion? All those in favor, raise, raise your hand or say aye. Aye. <coughs> Motion carries, five zero. It is now 6.31 p.m. And we are moving into closed meeting, pursuant to Texas Government Code Chapter 551.